Hey YouTube, it's been a decent time away from uh, doing a lot of the home lab videos and starting a new build. A lot of the servers you guys seen before, it's all been sold. From the 12th gen, our 820s, our 720s, 620s, uh, EMC shelves, Dell switches, uh, Dell 10 gig, uh, fiber, uh, ethernet switch, from SANS, a lot of that's been sold. I've been doing a big refresh. So as you can see, this is the last two things left of the last three things left from that huge lab that I had. We have uh, primarily a smaller lab. Still, I have the racks. Those are staying with me. I'm not going to sell them. Uh, we have just two additions right now. Got a little VMware host and a storage server. So for this one, the only 12th gen is right here. It's gonna get replaced eventually soon. But as of right now, I have an R730. It has uh, six drives. And if you guys might ask what drives they are, they are Enterprise Plus, 1.6 terabytes. Got a whole of these really decent okay drives i mean they're around 400 dollars on ebay not too bad but it's okay for what it needs to be done uh the future of this lab is going to be consisting of three r730s xds with uh all flash it's going to be a part of a vsan cluster the vsan cluster will be interconnected as well as data over 40 gigabit uh, Mellanox QSFP going down to a uh, 40 gigabit uh, layer 3 switch possibly an Arista uh, or it could be a Dell uh, S6000 series it depends on which one I will go with uh, a lot of the things I have been doing are uh, VMware wise I have regular a lot of the VMs that I had before consolidated, they are all on here. Regular standard vCenter, uh, nothing too crazy. As well as this uh, R720 XD, it has uh, eight 10 terabyte uh, Iron Wolf Seagate drives, and they are in a uh, hardware rate. I'm, I'm using um, Windows Storage. Uh, server and might change to uh, a ZFS based operating system maybe true NAS free NAS it depends um, but this will get definitely replaced with an R730 XD three and a half uh, large form factor server so as of right now this one has a low voltage CPU nothing needs to be changed so as of right now it's pretty energy efficient, pulls less than around 100 some watts. This one's around 260, but I do love the new feature of uh, the pulse wattage modulation, the PWM with the fans. You can actually control the fans in iDRAC 8 of the R730 and a 12th, 13th generation servers, and makes it servers much more quieter along with the fresh air compliance so they can run up to a uh, 100 plus uh, degrees temperature and still operate at lower costs so and i still have my uh, dell power connect 5524 that's my only switch um pretty simple nothing too crazy i have a 10 gig uplink for uh, each of my uh, servers so they can copy files back and forth pretty quickly but everything else is um, one gig I do have a gigabit uh, connection to the internet so it's actually kind of nice it's been upgraded since my last time where I had uh, Com Comcast business which was uh, 500 down and around 60 up now at least it's gigabit so it's kind of nice and then we still have the UPS down there powering this thing which is doing pretty well 
So, but yeah, other than that, this is pretty much my setup. A lot of you have been sending messages and comments and we we're trying to find out what's happening. But as you see, it's been consolidated down to two hosts and going to build back up a new fresh lab. I like to stay on the new latest hardware. Don't like to buying older hardware. And uh, yeah, so uh, stay tuned for any new updates. And there will be some uh, videos coming out soon regarding any other new things I'll be getting.